Hey friends, if you've been watching my channel, you'll know that I've recently upgraded my whole network to enterprise class gear. So I've got enterprise level uh, switching, gateway with Unify security gateway, and Unify access points all throughout my house. Now I've been sponsored and told that this Unify Amplify HD, which is consumer grade technology, this is anywhere from 130 bucks to 150 bucks for just the router. And this router will cover up to 1,500 square feet and give you from give you a uh, and it will give you speeds up to 1,700 megabits per second. So just like my um, enterprise level hardware right here, but this is in a cute little box that's easy to manage and easy to obtain. So let's go ahead and dive in and see what this thing looks like on the inside. And by inside, I mean the inside of the box. I'm not opening the actual router up. Yes, I know I should have a knife, but I don't have a knife. So, here we go. This just slides off. Nice little tab right here to pull on. Pull something on. Alright, I have no idea why that tab's there. Here we go. Got the Amplify Wi Fi router. Time to cue the B roll. This is what the inside of the box looks like. Comes with a very nice Ethernet cable. The instructions. And then a power cable. Alright, now that we've got the unboxing out of the way, I'm going to finish out the video by setting this up and showing how easy or how hard this is to set up and get implemented into your network. If you want to see how fast it is, check out my upcoming video where I'm going to be comparing how fast this is with how fast my enterprise gear is. Okay, so here I have it set up. Got the ethernet plugged into one of the ethernet ports because I'm not going over the WAN. Although I may need to move that. And this is going up to my switch up there. So we're gonna go ahead and plug this in. While that's turning on and doing what it's gonna do, I've downloaded the app. So we're going to do set up amplify mesh system, not a standalone mesh point because I don't have those. All right, there we go. Connecting. All right, so I'm going to name it Ubi Test. Ubi Test. So continue. Yep. That's cool. I didn't know it played music when it was connected and done. Alright. So I'm going to move that. Move that into there. Tell it to retry. Continue on. Because it does have internet.
So here it's showing everything's good. So I can pause the internet on all devices. Shows me how fast my phone is uploading and downloading to it. So you can set up a guest network, you can set up how many guests can connect to it, and then you can choose for the guest network to always be on. You can turn it off, set it up to be on for two hours. That's pretty awesome. See the performance. Let's do 1.3, 0.3, Ooh, highest P test. Let's see how fast my internet is. Jacking up to like 140 or something. So it says I've got 125 megs down and then 25 up. It's pretty good for a phone. If you wire in, my internet's more like 250 or 300 down and then 30 up. So you can't complain with that. So you can change the name again afterwards. You can set your time zone if you want 24 hour time. So now you can see it's 3.07 p.m. Change the volume for the sound effects. It's coming from the router. Anyways. So you can reboot it. Factory reset it. So night mode will turn off the screen. Pretty sure it'll turn off this light too. You can set when it turns on or when it turns off and when it turns back on. Set up port forwarding. Configure how bright that LED is. How bright the L C D is. So all in all, that's pretty awesome. I really like this setup. Like I just said, this thing is awesome. I can't believe how easy and quick it was for me to set it up. You pretty much watched the entire setup process in the last five minutes on my video. Plugged the cable in, plugged the power in, opened up the app on my iPhone, boom. Connected, couple of clicks. I'm on the internet browsing through Wi-Fi on my phone. Could connect whatever device that I wanted to it. Got a few surprises where I didn't realize that you could set up a timed guest network and limited guest network so only three people can connect to it. So if you've got a whole bunch of family members, you can make them fight on whoever can access your internet. So that's going to be fun. And then I also like that I can pause internet on specific devices. So if my kid's misbehaving, I can quickly pause their internet. Boom. They've got to do what I say before I can access it. So that's going to be awesome too. The other cool thing about this system is you can connect their Wi-Fi mesh access points anywhere in your house as long as it can be configured on this Wi-Fi network and then you can extend your network and make your network even bigger. And if it's as easy as setting this thing up, I can't imagine how easy those things are going to be because it's probably just going to be a couple of clicks. Click, there it is, click, connected, boom. You've got Wi-Fi even further and an even greater range around your house. So I really recommend this setup. So even with as great as this is, it is still kind of limited because it is consumer grade, which there's no problem with that. But if you want something with a little more features, check out their enterprise stuff. Go ahead and check out my other videos on how easy those are to set up because they're really easy as well. Not two clicks and boom, there it is, but right next to it. If you guys want to see how fast my enterprise gear is compared to this, go ahead and check out my upcoming video. Thank you so much for watching this. If you liked it, go ahead and smash that like button. If you want to see more of my stuff, go ahead and subscribe to my channel below, and I'll see you next time, guys.